Hello, this is Vampire back with another uh, response video. This time, uh, this one is for uh, Uncle Cal. Okay. Um, hey, bro. Hope you're doing well. Um, please check out his uh, his YouTube channel and the video. I got to mention the, the video that I'm responding to. The video that he did was uh, something along the lines of what is the best style, right? So, okay. Um, my two cents about that, right? Uh, why does it have to be which style is, is uh, better or which style is the best? Um, why can't it just be what I like? You know, I, I don't really like to be told what to do. And, you know, if, if you say this is the best style, well, you're, you're telling me that that's the best style. And, and it's like, well, whatever, that's your opinion, dude. Um, what's wrong with me just picking a style that I like? one that I think is cool. Who cares if it's not practical? Who cares if it's not for combat or self-defense? I like it. I want to train in it. You know, if maybe I'll get a little bit of fitness out of it. Maybe it's not the best style for fitness. Who cares? You know, Let, let's say, let's say um, some ancient weapon. Okay. So for those of you familiar with Kalari, there's a weapon called the Urumi, right? The Rumi is is a, they used to wear it like as as a belt. Yeah, I, I guess you you could you could just wear it on your body, and it's a basically a flexible sword. I I think uh, a lot of them have like three, I don't know what to call it. It's it's uh, three blades, but it's flexible, so it's a a flexible whip like sword. But don't don't think it's like a chain sword. It's it's just one sheet, I guess. But there's three of them. I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining this. I've never held one. I've never seen one uh, live. But let's say you think that is like the dopest weapon ever, which I do think it's it's really neat. Okay, so you think that's a cool weapon? Hey, what's wrong with studying that? I'm never gonna carry that for self defense. And if if I'm going well, you know, you learn good body mechanics and you could use that for self defense. Well, you know what? There's probably other styles that are, that are better for for translating to self defense. You know, than going from an Arumi, which is a very specialized, crazy weapon. But what's wrong with me just saying I like that? I'm fascinated by it, and I want to train in that. I don't see a problem. I say good for you. Good for you. Go train in it. You lucky bastard, have fun. That that's the way that I see that. Um, so yeah, I think um, it was in an Iaido book, textbook that I had of Iaido, which is the Japanese art of the live blade. It's uh, drawing the, the sword and it's different from Kendo. Kendo is like the sport version and they practice with the bamboo swords. This one, you're, you're working with a live blade, you know. Um, so in Iaido, in the book, on, on the textbook, in, in the, I don't know if it was the beginning, first page, or if it was in the intro or in the back, but... Somewhere along the lines, it said that uh, a lot of times people get, um, how do you call it? It was like they, they block themselves by being obsessed with practicality. It, was some, it said something like that on there. And I thought to myself, yeah, this is an ancient sword art that... You're not going to use this for self-defense because you're not walking around with a Japanese katana sword. In Japan, it's illegal. And most places, you, you can't. So you, you're not gonna. It's not the old, you know, it's not feudal Japan where you, you're walking around with a sword at your hip, you know. So, yeah, this it's, it's not practical in that sense. But actually, it's very practical. It's very practical in character development. Um, you know, maybe just being able to hold your composure. I mean, those are all things that you could use every day. If you're only doing stuff for like self-defense street fighting and stuff like that, uh, how often are you getting into street fights? How often are you in a self-defense situation held up by a gun or a knife? If, if that's the case, man, I seriously, seriously question uh, where you're living and you know your your uh, career choices and and things of that nature you know um so if, if that's not the case for most people so if you think of it that way then it's then self defense isn't even practical because you're preparing for something that may happen to you once or zero in your life 
I, I'm not against it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I teach self-defense. I practice self-defense. But I'm just saying, if you're really, really obsessed and talking about practic the practicality of things, then there's plenty of other things that you could do that's going to be way more practical that you'll be using every day, multiple times a day. Uh, heck, breathing exercises would be more practical, you know, because we breathe all the time. So, you know, it, it's just... The, Depends on how you define it. So if you look at it from that point of view, the best, what is better? What is the best style? I mean, these are kind of uh, silly, you know, they're, they're fool's quests. So uh, really, I, I see people commenting on, on my videos and stuff. And I, I can tell by your comments, some people, they just, they can't let it go. They can't let that way of thinking. They're like, no, but there's there's got to be one style that's a little bit more practical for combat. It's a little bit more suited, better for combat. You, you know what? We're all different. Those are all methods. You never know what a person is missing that they need to help them click for it, whether it's combat or life. What What's the missing ingredient? Everybody's different. And and so whatever it is that can click and help you, that is going to that's good for you. And we can't say that that's better than something else. All we know is that was what was needed and that helped you. So that's all that matters at the point, you know? So, um, you know, I, I think we get a little, little too obsessed. I was definitely guilty of that myself as well. So uh, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.